show me how to fight you. Good call. You got any salvage to sell, Hunter? It's like a cauldron, but it's offline. Seems like it has some kind of ritual importance to the Tanakh. Exit somewhere.
Made it. That was a long climb. be an exit somewhere. Made it. You wanted to speak to me? Well, you know better than anyone it's a dangerous world out there, and not just against machines. Name's Odur. This here's my training pit. Best place to practice close combat this side of the Forbidden West. Say, I wonder who'd win in a fight? You, the savior of Meridian, champion of the East, or the Enduring, master of the West? Who? The Enduring. A legendary Tanakh fighter, the master of masters. I've heard the Tanakh have training pits just like this one. It's how the warriors get so fierce, see? And only the very best from the pits get to train with the Enduring. So to find the Enduring, I should look for these training pits when I'm back out that way. You'll have to go far if you do. The Tanakh are split into three clans. Three clans, three capitals, three training pits. My guess is you'd have to beat all of them if you want to train with the Enduring. If the Tanakh don't kill you on sight, that is. But that's a far spark in the wind. As for right now, 
I also offer challenges to test your fighting skill. Who would I be fighting exactly? You? Well, I know you're the savior and all, but you have to beat all the others first to challenge me. Rules are rules. We only use dual blades and practice arrows, mind. These drunken fools would run themselves through otherwise. You have to leave everything but your spear and practice arrows at the gate. But I'll look after your gear, not to worry. So, what do you say? Up for some training? <laughs> I might be. That's what I like to hear. same attacks, your enemy will dodge them. Vary your attacks in combination. Make yourself less predictable. attention to your opponent's stance. Read their intentions. Choose your attacks to break their defense. to energize your spear. Then hit your opponent with a heavy or power attack to blast the armor off. Yeah. Energy doesn't last forever. Shoot the glowing part of your opponent before the energy fades. Just try again. doesn't last forever. Shoot the glowing part of your opponent before the energy fades. company to have. Bring ale for the Nora. Thank <laughs> you. 
Let's try again. of yours seems to energize after attack. I think landing heavy attacks in combination will energize you faster. Now to use that energy, try attacking your enemies. See if you can energize them. Savior of Meridian wins! doesn't last forever. Shoot the glowing part of your opponent before the energy fades. That spirit can give you the edge in battle. Keep energizing it and then your enemies. Triggering those energy blasts should help you vanquish your opponents. Well fought, friend. Well fought. Are you okay? Yeah. Ooh. Serves me right for thinking I could go up against the savior of Meridian. Here, have this. A little something for the new champion. Thank you, Hodurk. Don't be a stranger now. Come back whenever you'd like to spar again. but easily blocked. So learn to combine them with other attacks. break weapon blocks and do more damage. But they're slow, so your opponents might counterattack. Yeah! Power attacks 
smash weapon blocks to really hammer an enemy with damage. But they're slow and leave you vulnerable, so pick your moment. or child's play. A real fighter combines them. Practice this combination as a starter. Break their weapon block, then follow through to attack with this combination. Okay, that's all for now, I think. Good luck out there. <laughs> 